Hello and welcome back to Football Tactics in Glory and Manchester's Journey to the Premier League. My name is Rio and today's episode will bring an end to the second season of Manchester football. We currently sit in sixth place, two points behind Little Rock and three points behind Topeka. And depending on the results today, we can catapult ourselves all the way up to fourth. It's not very likely, but we do have a much better chance of going up to fifth. Today, we're taking on Jackson FC, and Little Rock is taking on San Jose. San Jose is the best team in the league, and we've got a chance. But we have to win, and Little Rock has to lose. A draw will not do it. We'd have to crush Jackson to even get close on that. And while Jackson's not had a great season, we only beat them 2-1 to one last time we played them. And they have the dreaded defending midfielder that has been a huge problem for us in every game we've faced them so far. So, hopefully, we can show what we've got. Let's see if there's any conditions. Nope. No conditions. That could cause a problem. And O'Keefe, Olsen, Calvert, O'Donnell, Roman, Thacker. This is a good, good team there. They have a sweeper. They've got several central defenders. Again, this is this is not an easy opponent here, especially on the road. But we beat them before, and we need to beat them again if we hope to accomplish our goals for this season. Now here we go, Manchester versus Jackson, final game of season two. It's been quite a ride, and we still have the ability to reach the goal that I set a few episodes in. And Jackson's going to start off with the ball. Holden does a lofted pass, gets it to Staley. Staley, looking upfield, passes over to Keyes instead. Keyes, also looking up, goes for the shot, and it is kicked aside by Scruggs. Scruggs is now going to do a long pass to Thacker. And now that, that whole interception thing is really difficult. But Thacker's going to do a pass towards Roman, doesn't get there, so Calvert's going to be coming back to get it. Moreland is such a, a difficult person to get past, but Calvert does keep it. Unfortunately, Moreland is now motivated and gets it with the aggressive tackle easily. And he moves off to the side. His control is rather weak. So, O'Keefe comes over gets the ball away and could either hold and hope he can keep it away from Moreland or get it over to Calvert and that's what we're going to do. We're going to pass to Calvert because this might take away the motivation by the time Moreland gets over there. He's going for it, has the interception skill and this time he is able to take it away from Calvert. Moreland passes past Olsen back into the box and it's difficult for any of our players to get past. And Calvert's going to move in and O'Keefe is going to move over. We'll see what Orozco does now. The lofted pass gets towards Bolden but not that far. Bolden gets it. Keys is right in the middle. So we definitely don't want that ball to get to Keys. Scherer gets the tackle. Neither of them can tackle there. So Scherer is going to hold this one, and I guess they're going to have to bring up Moreland. Bolden, or Moreland, moves up and is going to try and take it away from Scherer and succeeds in taking it, but that ends his actions and Scherer takes it right back. And Scherer 
quick do the regular pass to Roman, but instead is going to do the long pass that's guaranteed to succeed over to O'Keefe. And the, the pass to try and get it to Calvert doesn't work. Calvert goes for the tackle and does get it from Guy, but he probably won't be able to keep it. Oh, he keeps it away from Newcomb. Will Orozco try next? Makes the most sense, and Orozco does take it away. What is his plan next, though? Calvert is motivated. Calvert goes over. Calvert goes for the aggressive tackle, manages to take it away, and could go for that, but instead is going to go for the cross, and it is offline. Instead, Sweet will take the ball now. Sweet moves up. Now, what's his plan now? Sweet is just going to control this one. Instead of having that, O'Donnell is going to go for the unlikely tackle, and he gets it! But what is Jackson going to do? Take it right back, is the answer. Sweet. Easily takes it, passes over to Bowen. Bowen moves back, and that will end the half. Manchester and Jackson are tied 0-0. There weren't any significant events, and we still have the problem of Moreland. Moreland is low on energy, but we can still try and get something going here. Manchester starts with the ball in the second half. We have to score for our goals to be realized. We have to score. The lofted pass gets to Calvert. Calvert moves over. Calvert is going to go for the cross. Gets it past one. Oh, no. How did that not get past Orozco? How did that not get past Orozco? That doesn't make sense. He had the stronger outcome. So Keys will come up. And Tompkins will go for the slide tackle. Does get it away. He's going to do the lofted pass over in the vicinity of O'Donnell. O'Donnell gets it. And O'Donnell could go for the shot. Or could go for the cross here. He's gonna go for... He's just going to hold this one and try and keep it away from Sweet or Bowen or anyone else. And no! O'Donnell can't keep it away from Sweet. We just haven't been lucky with, with holding on to the ball here. Moreland gets it, and Moreland is just gonna hold this one. Thacker is going to come over. Roman. Roman's going to press. Thacker's going to tackle. And Thacker can't take it away. Moreland has the ball. What's he going to do with it now? Passes to Bolden. Bolden. Tries to move past. Gets past O'Keefe, but can't get past Shader. And that will end the turn. The motivation doesn't give Bolden a new turn to work with here. Could go for the long pass. Instead, he's just going to do a regular pass to O'Keefe. Could do a lofted pass, but instead is going to come over. He could pass to O'Keefe or Olsen in the box. He's going to just do a regular pass to Calvert and hope that Calvert can keep the ball. And he's not able to. Every time we get the ball, they take it away. No matter whether the advantage is theirs or not. Griffiths. Moves over. O'Keefe is going to press here. Calvert going to go for the unlikely tackle and fouls Griffiths. Griffiths is injured though, so Mott comes in. The pass gets to Staley. 
Staley as a pass to Keys. Keys have a very good chance here now. And he goes for the shot, and Hodges saves that. That is the best chance on goal this entire game. And it goes the wrong, and it came from the wrong team. The team we didn't want to be doing that. And Staley has great control, so he might be able to get it. Now Shatter, Shatter takes the ball, takes the spot, and gets the pass. And the attempt at a long pass doesn't get there. The slide tackle gets Tompkins the ball. And Tompkins passes to Thacker, who is going to hold this one. Once again, Moreland is probably the one who's going to be coming over. I'm really not happy with how these, this game has gone, and it's taken away by Moreland. Thacker gets the ball right back. Roman gets the pass. Does a false kick to get Newcomb more out of position. will now pass to O'Keefe. Newcomb is coming up. He's going to try and take it away from O'Keefe. And he succeeds in doing so. We need a miracle to win this. O'Keefe goes for the tackle and it is not successful. I can't believe it'll end like this. The aggressive tackle gets O'Keefe nothing and a foul. O'Keefe is suspended for three matches now. And now they have a chance, potentially, to take this game away. To even win it. But, oh, what a disappointing result here. I can't believe it came down like this. This is the end of Manchester's season, season two. Holden moves over to take the ball, and Jackson and Manchester end on a 0-0 tie. Manchester didn't even manage a shot on goal. A disappointing end. who are the men of the match. Shatter, Tompkins, and O'Keefe. Nothing, nothing on offense worked out this game. And that, that defending midfielder is just an absolute menace to this team. It wasn't what we wanted. San Jose did beat Little Rock 4-3. Topeka and Concord tied, so we never had a chance. On that one. Columbia beat Louisville, so we should still finish in sixth place. We had the risk of dropping down to seventh again if Louisville won there. But that is the end of our season in sixth place. Edge does manage to stay in the top ten for assists. Scruggs and Shatter are number two and number six, respectively. There's Moreland right at the bottom at number ten. And Hodges. Got a save to move up to sole possession of second. Did not challenge Crow, though, who didn't have to save anything because there wasn't even a shot on goal. And that's the way the season ends. So we're going to sim forward, and we're going to see how the rest of the stuff goes. But next season, Columbia, Jackson, and Montgomery will be moving down. San Jose, Providence, and Concord will be moving up. And Augusta Billings and Baton Rouge will be joining us in the third league. So, let's see how the rest of the season turns out for the rest of the leagues. We're going to choose our sponsor now. So, third league, rank six, and round of 32 for the Liberty Cup. This season, Manchester FC remains stuck in the mire of the third league. There were some wins and some losses, but with a lukewarm showing like theirs, they can't hope to achieve any significant success. It wasn't the best season. We had chances, but 
didn't come out. Hodges got ranked 2 in 3rd League and ranked 10 in the Liberty Cup, so he earned us 8 glory. Scrug, Shatter, and Edge were also great. Had very solid seasons in the 3rd League. So here we go. So, our home victory, win the Liberty Cup, victory, top ranked in 3rd League, and then match, reach semi-finals in Liberty Cup. This one's a tough one. Um, I don't think we're going to win the Liberty Cup, and I think it's unlikely we, ri we end up being top-ranked in third league. So we kind of have to base it off of the sponsor's conditions. And I think I might go... Let me, let me consider. There are... How many teams in the league? Uh, there were... I think 12 in the third league so we played 22 matches in there about 1,000 every three matches so that would get us 7,000 to get that for the other ones we'd have to have five home victories or 12 victories overall so I'm gonna go with media fives home victories because we're very good at home we can win that and we get more than double that than we than we would the victory from the normal Premierio one so media 5 will be our sponsor here's a look on that we have Yancey now who signed a contract with us uh, expiring contracts Calvert Gibbons Dickinson Olsen and Thornton transfer window is open our team is in the Liberty Cup and the U.S. is currently ranked 8th among those. Let's take a look at our transfer list. Nothing that really stands out to me here. Yeah, not a lot of young players that could potentially do it. Although Croft is interesting. As, as Hodges ages, it's something to keep in mind. We also have to keep in mind O'Keefe, who is not going to be available for the first three matches of this season, which is another huge blow to our team. We might double down on defense, sticking in Dickinson instead. And Thacker moving over wherever needed. Thacker will definitely be busy, and our first game will be against Anchorage, who just got relegated and are a solid team. We see they also have a defending midfielder, the bane of our existence, and an even better one than on most of the other teams. This could be another rough season, but I hope you'll join me for it anyways. Look at that, that one. And there are, there are 12 teams. And they have us right in the position we finished last year. We finished six. And this year, we're hoping to finish higher than that. So, I hope you join us next time when we begin Season 3 against Anchorage at home. Should be a good time. Please leave a like and subscribe for more content. And I hope you have a great day and happy gaming.